Thank you for tuning in to the dopest, freshest podcast out there. The Phil with Phil. With Phil. With Phil. With Phil. Hey, look, we be talking about everything they want to hear for real. Corporate like ENT. This the, the Phil, Phil, Phil with Phil. Podcast 2023. We on y'all ass. About to turn the heat up a notch. Like Phil, dude. Phil Roberts 12. The Phil with Phil. Find us on the Grammy and share the show. Get, get the Phil with Phil, Maine, and Manny. Phil with Phil on Twitter, make corporate more like your family. Phil Roberts on Facebook, you got a page, go add him. CorporateLike.com, we streaming on all platforms. It's showtime, we'll be number one in no time. It's the, the Phil with Phil, the Phil with Phil. It's the, Phil with Phil, the Phil with Phil. Get back. Don't, don't jaywalk, boy, you gon' get bitch slapped. Two to your neck if you doing that chit chat. They told you that I am not with that. I'm from a city where niggas take risk at. Love my city, but I cannot keep back. I can get grimy and push a little shit back. Catch your body, get paid and forget that. You thought it was a game, little nigga. Till I pull up with that flame, made that motherfucker sing. You don't really know the game, little nigga. Don't make your mama feel that pain, little nigga. I'm from the land, that's what I claim, little nigga. I ain't never been a sucker with you, bang, little nigga. You a sippin' on my pen, we not the same, little nigga. Say my name and you gon' do that shit in vain, little nigga. Keep a few niggas that's with that. Don't reach out my snap like a kick at. I got a bitch that get lit off that lick like. Baby Duncan, you better not forget that. You, you go to jail and be snitch. Why you say all them words for no sentence? All on the ground, you be worried about them bitches. Heck, haters be all in my mentions. Reaching my stash and pull out them Benjis. Hoodie stay on like I'm Kenny. This one ain't plain, it's that one that be Fendi. Dap a dunk in the mall, coffin plenty. Dunkin' like Shaq on the block, but serving dimes like a penny. Remember, I ain't have a penny. Nah, nah, I need every penny, so nah, I got penny. Big, 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 big body bends when I pull up, bitch, get back. Don't jay what, boy, you gon' get bitch slapped. Two, two to your neck if you doing that chit chat. They told you that I am not with that. I'm from a city where niggas take risk at. Love my city, but I cannot keep back. I can get grimy and push a little shit back. Catch a body, get paid and forget that. You thought it was a game, little nigga. Till I pull up with that flame and that motherfucker saying, you don't really know the game, little nigga. Don't make your mama feel that pain, little nigga. I'm from the land, that's what I claim, little nigga. I ain't never been a sucker with you, bang, little nigga. You was sipping on my pen, we not the same, little nigga. Say my name and you gon' do that shit in vain, little nigga. What's going on, y'all? This is Manny. We want to shout out Jermaine, man. Today is birthday. Happy birthday, bro. All Profit Entertainment. Y'all check out his artist, Baby Dunk and Fendio. He got a few other ones over there, too, but I don't know him right now. I'm just going to be honest with you, but uh, they working over there. Nice team, good engineers, producers. Main's a mastermind over there, so y'all, you know, we just shouting them out real quick. Yeah, y'all check out all that music on um, all DSPs, too. Yeah, definitely. From, uh, all Profit Entertainment. And uh, also Phil Phil on DSPs too, so y'all check this out. We on YouTube too. I think uh, All Profit Entertainment on YouTube also. Y'all check all that shit out, man. We we one big ass team. Just come fuck with us. So we don't we don't get right into it. Um, huh, man. So Westside Gun, he drops, and then you pray for me yesterday, right? And I just want to throw this out there before I even start this shit. I am a big Westside Gun fan. I'm a big 
Griselda fan. I love the movement. Always have. I'm a cult fan. Um, and and I'll, I'll get into the features and shit real quick. Uh, he got Stove Guy Cooks, A.A. Rashad. He's on down every intro for uh, West Side Gun. Kanye, Conway the Machine, J.I.D., Cartier Williams, Benny the Butcher, DJ Drama, Rick Ross, Trapperholics, Giggs, that's the guy over there from London, Ty Dolla Sign, Denzel Curry, Bodie James, S the G, DJ Swamp Izzy, Jeezy, Peasy, <laughs> DJ Holiday, Rome Streets, and KC. So it's kind of like a star studded lineup, you know what I'm saying? Um Yeah, that's always that's always the case for his project. Yeah, definitely. I think West Side Gun is more of a a curator, visionary, visionary. I'm a visionary. Um, he can make do. He can make albums for a living. Other people's albums for a living. Excuse me. I feel like this album is was a. It was a disappointment for me. Um. I I feel like everything is off sequence. He's rapping like he's from London because they got a certain style over there. A couple of them, even though he's he been in Paris and London a lot. Um, I feel like it's a bunch of DJs put together. I just think it was a it wasn't a very good project, and I'm I'm very disappointed. What you what you think about it? I don't. I'm not. I'm just not feeling it. I'm uh, trying to I'll like it. Out of you know, it's not his best you know project. Um. I don't know, like far as the cohesiveness, is norm normally is on par with you know everything from top to bottom, but uh, the sounds changes, you know, a lot on this on this album. Um, I think just like I'm not I'm not a beginning Griselda fan, but I have picked up on all of their whole catalog, and I can see how. Uh, someone that's been listening to them for a while can like have that take that you have as far as uh, like the sound because it loses its sound after like track four or five to me from the traditional sound mm -hmm. but I noticed all Griselda the whole camp you know I feel like they've just been playing with a different like tune of, like like music or just just venturing out musically and um, not having a you know they staple sound. I, I hear that with all of them, honestly. Um, yeah, I I can agree with that, but I think like I didn't care for Conway's last album that I dropped in February, March. I forget when it dropped. Um, like I, I I'm not expecting that same sound. I'm still expecting the lyrics though. I feel like Website Gun they read. Now, I deliver with these lyrics on the album. You will be surprised by this, but I actually think his he lyrically got better. You on, think so? On, on this album, though, from like from what I from what I'm accustomed to. Accustomed to, I feel like the lyrics is a, a tad bit better on this album. Um, overall, the album actually is not that bad. Um. I think it's out of the 21 songs, I believe. It's probably like 14 songs. Man, I, I like I Mama's Prime Time. Yeah. I like Suicide and Self Ridges. That's a vintage Griselda. I like Kitchen Lights. I like Fly Guy too. It's a lot of songs. It's, um, it's a... It's a uh, I don't know. I can't... Like, I would say one thing about West Side Gun. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of his, never was, but I respect the process of an album and the rollout of what he do. I agree with that. Um, it's very like throwback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. That is true. So he actually, it seems to me like he puts in the actual work of the like the creative process of an album how you should, and it, it's the test to his background, which you know he does fucking CEO of the company. Yeah. And he do a lot of executive work with other people. So it makes sense why he's he's been consistently creating really, really good albums, though. So, um, I, I feel like, I don't know. 
I, I don't know, man. I just feel like, like I know you've been out in London. You 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 absorbing that culture. Culture. I I get that. That's cool. You know. I feel like a lot of this is really cheap lyrics. Um, a lot of the songs are not good. The production is not as good as it used to be. There's some songs where like, oh, I like this this conductor type, Jay Versace type beats, Griselda type trap, beats. It's a lot of trap music on here. I feel like more like drill beat, trap, beat, drill yeah. type shit. I, I don't like that. I feel like the best verse Rome Street's got on Revenge of Flip Legs or whatever the fuck it's called. I think Rome Street got the best verse on the whole album. I like Jay. Verse. I thought it was a little too long, honestly. But, and I feel like, I feel like he feel like he could put anything out just, and call it art because he, he had the cult following. And I'm tired of that narrative. I just think he he just got his confidence level was just on a trillion, man. You know, I, yeah. when you like that, you know, you don't got that fear of putting out, just putting out music. And I think that's just, I think that's what he did. And he always had a sense of direction on where he wanted to take the mm-hmm. albums. So in that aspect, I can I can definitely appreciate that. And um, me going back on his catalog, man, I do actually appreciate his catalog. I do too. I love because it. of the work he put in, and in in the detail and the quality of the the music that he you know he making. So. Mm-hmm. With this and this saying, he, you know, him saying that this is final album. I don't think it is. Honestly, you I mean, that's, for a while. I mean, he he the ultimate promoter, so yeah, you never, that's true. Ship. So I mean, he just doing his job on that end. Yeah, you never that final album shit. I never take I take that with a grain of salt. But yeah, him true. being the executive like that. You know, he working hand in hand with a lot of guys right now. Yeah, I can see him taking a break, <clears throat> but. You know, somebody might inspire him, so. I, I just want to, I want a fucking Stove God Cooks album. I've been waiting for a long time. The last one dropped in 2020, 21 or something like that. That's and I feel like he's just using him. No, that, I feel like that's, that's cool. I feel like the time, time out now. Yeah. That album was. I feel like he sells hostage over there. That's how I feel sometimes. I think that's they just got a lot of creative. They, they, yeah, I can see that. Creativity. Maybe right? I'm just they being bitter. Lot. Cause I, yeah, I cause like that's not I love that long ago. Yeah, I'm just being bitter probably. Cause it's cause a, it's a, it's a big lie. roster over there, man. Yeah. And then you got the the umbrella shit with the um, drum work, and then you got BSF yeah. like eight hey, all of that. And that BSF big. been dropping heavy this year. I think Heem dropped, Lobo Luciano, Fuego Bass, OT the Genesis dropping. I ain't know using with them. I think one more person dropped too. I could be wrong, but to see them drop like that. Consistently, I think that's I, I, I love that about him. I, I love Benny about that. I think that's why Benny didn't drop no music or no, album. He, in no, he, he said in the interview I think a year ago that he was gonna you know push his push his his group like he he got he got that he got that that steam rolling like for him. Yeah. So. When you hot like that, you gotta strike and, Keep strike, yeah. and you gotta let you gotta put your team on. And yeah, let them yeah. be let them be noticed so you can see who's who is who. And you know, from a from a, f- a fan base standpoint, I feel like you'll see as a CEO or executive of how fans gravitate to your shit. Nah, I feel that's like real. it's pretty cut and dry, like who it's gonna be who and be yeah. yourself. Like <laughs> and even drum work, they you know, they dropped their compilation. Jay Skis drop, Conway and Jay Skis drop a joint project, and then Conway drop a project. Oh, Love the Genius drop the mixtape with Green Ladder. So they are working over there. So I, I get that. The whole umbrella's working. I like to see that because you don't see that often with crews. Yeah. They say they're part of a crew. They don't ever hear shit from them. You know what I'm saying? Nah, they shit. Everybody. They, working, everyone man. working. But, yeah. but like, what's side gun? Like, I don't, I don't really like rate him. Yeah, like I, I would rate that. him as a top tier as MC. a top tier MC. Like I don't, I don't take, I don't take it. You know, my take is not like it won't be that with him. Yeah, that's right. Um, I had to understand that. You know, when I started listening to them more, and um, the dude, like I don't know, he put in work, man. When it yeah, comes, when it comes to projects, so. he has put a lot of work. I always try to look at the positive part of it, mm-hmm. cause remember I was I was messaging you the other day about like he had like a rollout for this shit. Yeah, he did. 
Yeah. I watched some of the three wrong. episodes. Yeah. They only like they're not long. They're like eleven, twelve minutes. Yeah. So it's not. I like that. It's not like thirty robot. minutes or an hour. Like it's like the vlogs things and uh, the documentary process mm-hmm. of an album. Like that's some back in the day shit. Yeah. So I don't know, man. The, the from what they did from five years ago to now, man, it's amazing. Yeah, man, they they put a they gave the game a breath of fresh air. Yeah, that's true. Um, and then made the made and put the like the like the music back into or gave them back that like sound that that was rip, that old school hip hop sound man that's yeah. just my opinion that's true because uh, the game was missing that shit man. yeah it was and i it feel like they inspired i feel like shit. that group just inspired a lot of people yeah so what are you working the album um hmm. i don't know i'll give it i'll give it like a six okay what's your favorite song on it um i I, my favorite song is that uh, Mama's Prime Time with J.I.D. Okay. Uh, Conway. Okay. Favorite, I would say, di- I mean, no, the Disappointment was uh, the one song with Rick Ross. Terrible. Uh, I Terrible felt like song. That song was just like, was it, okay, was I, got, I got this song. You send it, <laughs> send a verse, and. I don't think it was no like like Direction. really really processed done in the yeah. song like there was a and Rick Ross, Rick Ross I, too. and and when I see a Rick Ross on a on a feature I expect like yeah some excellent shit. yeah because he a he an incredible feature artist yeah that's true. I don't, I, he one of the best yeah like, I agree. to ever do it uh, I always expect almost a flawless verse from him so just to hear it was kind of mediocre I, it was a disappointment for sure yeah. I think for me, Revenge of Flip Legs, Suicide and Self Ridges, and Mama's Prime Time, and Fly Guy Two Times. I, that was my favorite song. And I'm rating an album maybe. I'm gonna give it a five and a half six. That's what I got for it. I probably won't go back to it. I probably listen. To, I, I'll probably save a couple songs and then I'll be it. That's that's where I'm at with the shit. But um. You gone now. I would say like that. Pray for that. Pray for Paris album. I feel like that's his best album, man. Pray for Paris. Yeah, that's just. I don't album. know what's his best album. I know Hitler with her man's ten is crazy. And the last album, and then you pray. I think it's called the last one he dropped. Crazy, crazy album. Yeah, that pray for Paris is crazy. Yeah, that, that that is too. It just <laughs> and I get this is like nigga, what are you, what are you doing to me, man? Like what the fuck? But um, you say you give it a six, I give it a five and a half, six. That's a fair, that's a fair thing. And then we're gonna talk about Offset's album, set it off. Set it off. Uh, not a fan of none of them niggas. I always this, I always look at honest. this as a very anticipate one of the most anticipated albums of the year. I swear, I ain't seen no promo until like the last day or two. No, but I it was had, always, it, it was always, I, it wasn't a, it wasn't a clear cut promo for it, but That's it what always I'm saying. was yeah. an album, or a talks of it, yeah. so it was like, whatever. Like, you know, in the promo nowadays, it's, it's just, just, to right, the, yeah. just to drop the shit. Like, you know, it ain't no rollout or a lot of people try to go with the um, promo. But the, uh, I, I feel like he had a lot of, um... Yeah, I like momentum. Yeah, going into like you know this. Um, it's been controversy with you know his uh, legal matters with mm-hmm. the label and all that shit. You know the relationship with the with the group and yeah. Uh, so he had some good features like you know I, it's a usual features for me. You know Travis Scott, Don Tolliver, Future, Cardi B. I feel like he. Lotto, I feel like yeah. I feel like he'll always have them type of features. features yeah, you know? like I think he. I don't know. He got a he got a really a big name, you know, in, in the today's yeah rap scene. So, I just think, like the album's cool. Again, it's not for me. 
you know, they have a, Migos have a place in hip-hop. I just feel like it's more of the same shit. Like, I love On the River, but it's only a minute and 36 seconds. Like, the songs I like are short as fuck. And it's just like, hmm. But I don't consider him that type of rapper, though. He's like the D tier C list rapper to me, so it, it, it I, this is what I expect. Yeah. It's nothing crazy. I, I, I honestly expected more features, so I was Did a you? little surprised that this mm. they don't have that many features for this to be these many records. So yeah, that's true. That's true. So but, surprisingly, yeah, I was very surprised with that. It's like what every song is like one long verse and it's the bridge, yeah. and that's it. I definitely expected the Twenty One Savage uh, verse. They, I, f I always thought they made good, good music, music together. Yeah, yeah that's true. Together. So I was a little surprised to not see Twenty One. The song, one of the songs in Cardi B, I like Jealousy. That's pretty dope. Um, I don't know, man. It's just again, they have a place in hip hop. Just the music's not for me. I, I gave it a listen. I'll probably never listen to it again. Um, I just this doesn't do it for me, man. Like it's a dope album. It's just not for me. For the yeah. for the tier I put them at, it's probably like a seven. Just yeah, for the man. tier I put it at, a yeah, seven. I say my favorite song. I say "Say My Grace." I like that too. On the river, "Say My Grace." I feel like the beginning was like, okay, this sounds all right. This sounds good. The combination of them two, like it, it was a a good, it was a good, a very good mix. Yeah, it was. Um, it's always nice to hear a feature on you know feature one of the. Kind of the he got he kind of old head OG status. Kind of yeah history. yeah that's true that's true. Uh, What'd you rate the album? What'd you uh, give it? I'm, I'm gonna give it a seven just for the tier he's at. Yeah, I say seven. Yeah, yeah I say towards the middle. I feel like a little a little a little past mid, like mm -hmm. little past mid. I put it. I feel like they're missing. They're missing being in that group together. Making music together. That's, what, that's how I feel. Like, it's just not the same. Yeah, but that's just history, man. That's just history, yeah. It's, just... it's always been that way. Yeah. Whatever group you can think of, it's always been a bunch of shit behind the scenes and yeah. solo projects. And, you know, so, you know, it's one of the... This is we gotta get used to seeing this because you'll never see a amigo project. project you know, yeah. Maybe they got unreleased verses or some shit. Tracks that from you know take off and put they probably can do something like that. I feel like that'll be very lucrative for them. Yeah, I agree. And also, yeah. it'll be from a fan standpoint to hear some <clears throat> unreleased shit from take off. That I feel like they'll get to that. I was. Surprised to not hear uh, anything. I, I thought I would get a takeoff verse from here or something. Like, I thought I'd get just more of a me. tribute type thing. I, I think thought, it, I thought I would get like an unreleased takeoff. Yeah, verse, but I, they probably don't have. They probably don't have the like, file, the legal, like the legal, the legal rights right. to that shit. Yeah, that makes sense. It'd be that a bunch sense. of politics with that. Yeah, but you know, he his last project was dope to me. Yeah, I did. I liked uh, it. All, yeah, uh, all said so. I always thought Offset was the best. Did you? The I like best, take off. The best out of all of them. I think so, Quavo's terrible. And I always thought he dropped the best project out of all of them mm -hmm. when they was dropping their shit. Yeah. So, it was definitely something I anticipated going into the year. So, I mean, it didn't really, it didn't really shatter my expectations. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of like it is what it is. Okay, it, yeah, it was typical shit. But and then the the track. The tracks it didn't bother me just because of the length of time they yeah. haven't had a project. So, no, that's real. I don't know. Like, it, I mean, it wasn't, it's not a trash album or anything. No, it's not trash. It's and I, ain't had, I didn't me. honestly have expectations. Yeah, for him, I didn't so. either. And it, you know, it's, it's a cool album. Yeah. It's a couple tracks that, you know, bump in the car. Uh, yeah, or you know, in so. the club, a bar type shit. That's how they usually give you, though. And so that, that's our review for them two albums, man, Offset and West Side Gun. When we come back, we're going to get into this Drake and Joe Buttons really quick in this whole Tupac situation, which is kind of crazy after all these fucking years. But when we come back, it's always Corp Like Entertainment and the Fiddle Field Podcast. I ain't about to waste no more time talking shit.
Chino, turn this bitch up, dog. Watch this. Uh, spectacular. They say my flow so immaculate. Flip them like spatula. Handle beef with a tactical. I'll work everybody rapping. Send them on sabbatical. Iceman. Perry Saturn. I'm a radical. Wait. I said flow immaculate. Spectacular. Tactical handle beef. Flip them like spatula. Quip across your face. Latino with the heat. Dog. Play this on repeat. Uh, from Mexico to Canada. I'm hip to hardcore. You softer than a bunny hop. Me and your little boo. Play Winnie Pooh in the honey pot. She like to give me yummy top till the runny snot. I might try to come in until a tummy pop. Song. Got your girl looking like a liquor tongue Pokemon coming out the balls. How she catch them all? They can't compare. I'll fight fair with a nightmare. Say my name three times in the mirror. I'll be right there. Can't see him out of sight. Make it quite clear. Almighty Titan. I'm Mike Tyson. I bite ears. Dog like a lichen. Midnight, dark, full moon, white lightning, and hard fighting and sight fear. For those weak in the mind, seeking your find. And now I reach for my nine piece and speak to the blind. Bring heat with the shine. Any beef I'm eating with wine. Got a chopper the size of Chief Keep in his prime. Spectacular, they say my flow so immaculate Flip them like spatula, handle beef with a tactical I work everybody rapping, send them on sabbatical Iceman, Perry Saturn, I'm a radical Wait, I said flow immaculate, spectacular Tactical handle beef, flip them like spatula Quip across your face, Latino with the heat Dog, play this on repeat From Mexico to Canada Dog and wave, stay close like Ray and Ghost Hop on any instrumental and we say the most Raise a toast, smoke a blunt, flame the roast Step out in bright colors like we Bang the coast, this economy got me in all black for the robbery. Kick those on your property, piss and break pottery. My goons follow me, and we gonna probably break dance in your living room like we just won the lottery. Besides the blue flame, ain't nobody hot as me. Never been long as I'm here, you will never win. Better find a better friend who ain't hesitant to tell you take your medicine and don't pick up the pen again. You done let the deep blue sea and the devil in. About to flood, pillage, and burn down the settlement. Got an earth melanated queen wrapped in leopard skin. Coco but a kisses with a sweet twist of pepper Spectacular, they say my flow so immaculate Flip them like spatula, handle beef with a tactical I work everybody rapping, send them on sabbatical Iceman, Perry Saturn, I'm a radical Wait, I said flow immaculate, spectacular Tactical handle beef, flip them like spatula Quip across your face, Latino with the heat Dog, play this on repeat, yeah From Mexico to Canada, word play ridiculous Style so meticulous, continuously got them sick of us Like syphilis, you can't sit with us But you chick with us so promiscuous, liquors like licorice Probably be best if you never disrespect a dime There's something like a leprechaun versus a decepticon The melodies I create mentally Through my memory a lemony fresh But mean enough to catch felonies Do it for the green with a stick like a celery Solo with the sense to make change like a penny beat Came to take over the game like it's ten of me Roll heavily and put a hole where your belly be Flow heavily, send your soul where the devil be And go live in the hills with a bitch named Beverly What the hell you telling me? I'm Ed with the specialty Leave seed on your bitch buns like a sesame Spectacular, they say my flow so immaculate Flip them like spatula, handle beef with a tactical I work everybody rapping, send them on sabbatical Iceman, Perry Saturn, I'm a radical Wait, I said flow immaculate, spectacular Tactical handle beef, flip them like spatula Quip across your face, Latino with the heat Dog, play this on repeat From Mexico to Canada Uh, back from commercial break. We're going to get into Drake and Joe Bunnins real quick. Yeah, last week, I believe. Yeah, I think it was last week. Yeah, you know, I, I was I was waiting on this, you know, to hear um, Joe's review tape, which he had back in 2016 that bothered Drake a lot. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, to, in my opinion, I thought uh, Joe was spot on with his tape. Um, every, a lot of people, you know, always say Joe be hating and I think Joe is an actual fan of Drake. Yeah, he is. Um, it's been well documented that he's a fan mm -hmm. of Drake's. Um, he actually bigs up Drake more than he tears him down. So if people, if you really listen, um, I think from a stand, uh, uh, not a stand, but a fan standpoint, um, he just showing his frustration and uh he actually said prior to leading up i mean leading up to this album dropping that he had concerns with the album 
Mm. Like he, he felt like it wasn't going to be a good album. I mean, album. Like he had concerns about I, it. I know he fooled me. I, when he dropped that nah, AM and Shard, I said, nah, oh, I, shit. I'm never fooled by Drake. Um, he has the same layout. Like, yeah. It's, it's pretty pretty obvious. Like um, He said in a couple interviews, like, he's not going to make um, a whole rap album. So, I stuck... He, I, I stuck that stuck with me. And um back to like Joe. Joe take was I think very spot on. And I think I think in my opinion, like I think reality is like setting in for Drake. I think so too. With, um the music and shit the and music everything. And shit. Yeah, I agree. Um he's not it's not taken it's not accepted like it used to be. And you know, with the same shit, you keep doing the same shit all the time. Like, you know, people accepted get tired. by who though? By like real fans? I feel I like it's accepted think, by everybody now. No, I think I think he got a lot of criticism from this album. Yeah, he did. This is Lord's writing album yeah. for Metacritic, yeah, Metacritic and, um, or whatever. That's that's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah, for, yeah. You know, a god at stature. Yeah, yeah, that's and true. That's true. By Drake's standards, yeah. I mean, he the he the most popular artist, artist in the. Game the right world. now, or yeah, we're definitely rap, rap, rap yeah. artists for sure. Like it's not even a debate. Yeah, like, that's true. Um, in the world currently, and you know, I, I feel like that's a <laughs> a reality check for him. And I don't know, and you know, Drake sending out that a long that long message, ass message, and then other messages like, with that. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like, why are you that bothered like that? Like, I, I think he feels like he's the GOAT and no one can talk to him. Like, he's God or something. And I said this earlier in the group chat, in another group chat I'm in. Like, he, I feel like he's just a culture vulture. That's just how I feel. Like, you just take what's hot at the moment and make it your own. Like, yeah. you created it. Like, you didn't create nothing. Yeah, you, I don't, you gotta I humble never, yourself. No, I could say... I could say one thing about Drake that I, like, noticed. And with I try to compare that with other rappers. Of the time and now, like he's not a trendsetter. No, he's not. Like, he 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 followed the trends. Yeah, like, it's kind of weird because most artists that's like Try at the top at the top they're trend they they just set trends. He like one of the very few artists that's been at the top of the game that never set a trend. Yeah, it's, and I feel like he gets away with it. Like it's allowed. No, you know what I'm I mean saying? his genius is mar in marketing. Like yeah. he a marketing genius. Um, but I think it I think it like backfire and one thing I think that really hit huh, is that the women haven't accepted the album as well. Yeah, I think that too. Either. Yeah. So, uh he began criticized from the women and I feel like that's a lot of his fan base, so I feel like when he said I think right after he dropped the album or right before, like hours before, he's like I'm going to take like a year off of music. I got some health issues, which he probably does. But I think he realized like, damn, I just put this album out. I submitted it. <laughs> and it's not that good. I think he feels like that. That dude, Joe Funny, man. He was talking about that. He was like, yeah, we know the health issues. Come yeah, from. exactly. Like surgeries and shit. Yeah, that's real, though. Like, that dude, Joe Funny, man. But um, I think, I don't know. The behavior is just weird of Drake. Like Joe was saying, like, you being around all these kids and. Yeah, you know, these young people and um, little Yachty fingerprints was all over this album, especially at the back end. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, seemed like he inspired you a lot. You shouldn't be inspired by little. Yachty. No disrespect, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all in two totally different, you know, like, like categories when it comes to this rap shit. So, yeah, like, I, I think Yachty's terrible. And uh, um, no, Yachty is a very he he's a, an innovator, he a visual. Yeah, like, he a very creative person. Yeah, he's just true. not my cup of tea. Yeah, but I try to put my positive, you know, whatever. Yeah, I he's can see whatever pocket that. somebody in. Mm -hmm. I try to stick to that and try not to try to be too negative about it. But um, like the album, it was lazy. It was a lazy, lazy, a lazy piece of work. Like lyrically, it's oh not, yeah, it's, not, it's yeah. like some of the worst. Besides, some of the worst lyric, like lyrically, is some of the worst verses I've heard from him. Um, yeah, because he's barely, again, he's barely rapping. The best songs are A.M. and Charlotte and First Person Shooter and Cold Murder. A.M. And, Sh and Charlotte, he got he got some bad bars on that. He does, on he that. does, he does. Um, so it's like, 
like I was telling some of my friends, they like, man, they like, you just hate Drake. I'm like, no, nah, man, like I just see through you. I, I see, see through, through the shit. shit yeah. So it's like, I don't, I don't really entertain it. But it's just weird, like he DMs Joe after making yeah, that long right, yeah. Like that's some corny shit to yeah. me. Like you had all that shit to say, then you DM him. Like why don't you just call him? Yeah. But it's like he feel like he's too good to call him. No, nah, but I think he's still <clears throat> hurt from 2016. Drake yeah. or, or um, Joe got on his ass, man. But Joe is just a fan. And I think Drake posted a pic of him and his Best Buy. Pop, uh, Mike or Case. This is my thing. I know I ain't got millions of dollars, but if the shit works, the shit works. Everything ain't gotta be luxury. You know what I'm saying? That's how. If the shit works good, it's a good quality. What doesn't matter where you get it from? Make me no difference. You know what I'm saying? One thing I could say from this man, I was hoping, and this was just be a delusion. I was hoping you would get some Joe records out of this situation. I enjoyed the ones the last time, so. Making him a murderer and um, shit, he had he had like four of them, man. Yeah, Blake, yeah. afraid. I don't know, man. I, I enjoyed them a lot. It made me go back and listen to them. No, that's real. That's so, real. I don't know, man. But Drake, like he, I, I I told you that a while ago. He just need he need to take a break. Yeah, he does. Um, he dropped a lot. I feel like the he dropped what the for all my dogs. Then he dropped honestly, never mind. Then he had Certified Lover Boy. And before that, in between, he dropped Her Loss with 21 Savage, which I thought was a great body of work. More, um, more Life. Um, scary Hours. Oh, yeah, Scary Hours. Yeah, yeah. Scary Hours 2. I think, oh, no, uh, Dark Lane. Yeah, Dark, Dark Lane. Lim- yeah, Demo he, Tanks or some shit. He's he been like an LP, uh, EP, EP or type shit. shit like, yeah. He dropped a lot of music, man. Um, but you know, people gonna make the excuse for him and say, exactly. well, he, he didn't create his own lane so he could do whatever he want. That's bullshit to me. It's not an excuse. Yeah, but you, you have know to, what I'm saying? And then like, I don't know, like the, the cold, the cold verse, I mean, the cold collaboration, like, uh, the, the lyrics are terrible on that. For you to get in the booth and he just don't seem inspired like Joe said. Now I don't know why he wasn't inspired, you know, having Cole on the feature, but I don't know. Yeah, it's just not a, it's just no inspiration at all. Like I just he probably complacent. He just wanna do shit, he wanna do what he wanna do, you know, um musically and visually, so and uh, the plan works because I you know he Constantly record, record yeah, breaking, breaking all records, the time. Yeah. So, uh, this one of his lowest selling albums. Yeah, and it's one of his lowest selling albums. It might be the lowest selling one. Yeah, I got. If I'm not mistaken, because yeah. I think I looked back. Um, I think a couple days ago, I think it may be his lowest selling project, mm-hmm. like far as like LPs is concerned. Yeah. So, that's not, that's not, that's probably a bruise to your ego. Too. Oh, absolutely. His feelings uh, hurt. Probably, and that's okay. He, he probably is going to, he probably thought he was going to okay. do 600, 700, 800, mm-hmm. you know, K or something like that. But the shit, I mean. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. How, how it go, so. Yeah, we're going to move off from Joe Buttons and Drake, man. Um, Hopefully Joe makes some music, but I doubt it. Nah, he done. Yeah, he, I know he's done with that shit. We're going to get into like, I know it's been like the last couple of weeks. And it's been brewing for like three years. This whole Tupac case and Keefe D. Um, we finally got arrested a couple, what, like a couple weeks ago? I think, yeah, a week ago. A couple weeks ago. Um, yeah, that's, that's about right. What, what's your, what, what, is, what is your thoughts? Not thoughts, but like what is your theory on the whole, that whole case? Well, Biggie Pop, what's your, what's your theory on that? Because I have, I have a theory. What's your theory? I give, I would say, through all these years, I was very young. I wasn't very young, but I was young. You was in sixth grade when Pac died. Yeah, I was in junior junior high school. Yep. Um, I could say it kind of like it's kind of giving you a lot of answers that you. It's giving not a it's not a lot. It's giving you some answers that you had uh, questions about all these years, and uh, a, a lot of things is being looking more clear on what we think may have happened. Um, 
a lot. I don't know. And then, you know, the conspiracies are still out there, but that the cops was involved. And I don't know, but the story, the stories that I'm hearing, man, kind of is, is, is looking more clear to like what may have happened. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's my take from it. I don't think he had anything to do with it. Who? Uh, the Keefe B guy. Okay. But he was just um, an accessory, uh, accessory to it. Yeah, yeah. I ain't. I wouldn't say he didn't have anything to do with it. He was just an accessory to the murder. Mm-hmm. So he's definitely gonna go to jail for it. He may not, cause he got immunity a couple a year or two ago. Okay. So I think. Well, I think though, honestly, I feel like if you just again, I like I I went to school for psychology. I study human behavior. It's just what I see from Diddy. I never liked Diddy. Never was a fan of Diddy, right? So I feel like Diddy had a hand in Pac's death, some way, shape, or form, and I kind of feel like he had a hand in Biggie's death in some way, shape, or form. And I say that to say, you know, he goes on here. He Puff is very smart, very smart dude, intelligent, right? He goes on these shows. I mean, he don't want no smoke with Death Row. You know, it's all love, blah blah blah. And as years progress, he talk about love and love, love, love. And I think that he's trying to forgive himself for the things he did, and that he or I think how he orchestrated both their deaths. Mm-hmm. I feel like he's trying to forgive himself for these things. Like Napoleon was saying, like. If it ain't gonna get him now, it'll get him that karma. It'll get him later yeah. in life. So. And I feel like it's hitting him now, and things are starting to add up. Like you can't, no, you can't I mean, tie all the string. You still gotta go to sleep at night. Yeah, and, you know, look yourself in the mirror, talking about. Like in my opinion, I think he has something to do with it. Yeah, definitely. Um, the 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 details of um, a lot of the situations make it a little more clear for me. Um, in the reports that I'm hearing, like. He put a bounty on death row, a death row chain. Mm-hmm. Um, he Maybe had, not even like that. He had affiliate. He had affiliations of uh, with the Crips. Like yeah, paying on the shit. Um, so that right there, that kind of give you a little bit more of an answer to you know what's going on. As far as like Biggie's death, I I think I think the I think they was coming at the helm. And Biggie just was a cat, like casualty, a casualty of yeah. that, um, situation. And I also interviews from other people. They kind of steer towards that answer too. So why why um, would you want to shoot a video in Cali Puff? You knew you knew what was going. That shit was real. No, it was allegedly like a hit out on Puff. And um, I don't know, but like I never, I never liked Puff. You know, I always yeah. speak. My opinion about Puff, um, I always thought he was just a snake. Yeah, definitely. Um, just a, just a terrible dude. Like just Pepe all, gangster. all for all out for himself. Yeah. Um, it's been reported. You know, he several he times. He didn't several take, He didn't take care of um, big family, his mother, or nothing. She reported that as well. So that's sad. Um, even even during that his death and. He 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 should all he should feel very responsible for Biggie's death because Absolutely. he took him out there and Biggie knowing the situation. He didn't, he, no, he didn't want to go. Yeah, he was on crutches and everything. Still, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. Biggie wasn't even health. He wasn't in good health when he went to Cali. Cause the video he had the cane, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the, yeah you see it that. in some of the you know the photos. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. Hopefully. It's good that it's some kind of closure. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say closure, but it's a lot of details that lead to your conclusion of, like I said, what may have happened. So um, I always say the government did it, um, mm-hmm. but orchestrated too. Yeah, yeah, you never know, man. It might have just. I feel like a bunch of that gang shit, you know, got into it. He was. Dealing with that shit a little bit. Puffy was paying people. Money was being exchanged. Yeah. It's just a lot to deal with in almost 30 years. Like, it's, it's just crazy. And it, I feel bad for, like, 
the family members of the of this situation because yeah, they got relive they, the they gotta relive that. Yeah. Uh, I seen Tupac brother, you know, he on interviews and like, yeah, I, I, it's cool to you know find out who did something, but it's also like put you in a bad you know bad place mentally because you gotta relive that that situation over again when they done working all this time to try to put it past them and try to be as positive as possible, but. I don't know, man. That's sad, man. But God bless the families. You know, hopefully, you know, some type of closure. I I understand, but yeah. Um, but the thing is, like, all the, the people that was in the car, they're all dead, except for Keefy D. Keefy D. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's the man. funny thing. Crazy. Yeah, the, other, the other people, the other people is not, is not here. So tied up in loose ends. Yeah. I mean, wow, one wow. one died from some street shit. Drive by, wasn't that some shit? Um, then one died from bad health. Damn. So the, the one that died from bad health is the alleged person that shot Pac. So gotcha. Okay. Um, I don't know. That's sick, man. Yeah. So That's it's sick. good from a from a fan standpoint and from like a family standpoint to see is. It looked like it's some kind of closure mm-hmm. head on it. Whether it's fifty years from now, yeah, you know, if people can get a closure on it, far especially the families, that's always a good thing. So yeah, that's true. But shit, man. On that note, y'all, that's our show, man. We're dropping. Been dropping Sunday nights. Dropping the videos Monday morning, sometimes Sunday nights. We kind of dropping every now and then. It's kind of like Sundays lately. Um, come fuck with us on all DSPs. We on YouTube also. Um, got a lot of things coming up soon. We have our uh, end of the year show in December. Shout out Jermaine. It's his birthday again. Shout out All Proper Entertainment, Corporate Eight type shit. Y'all come fuck with us, man. Corporate like Entertainment, the Feel Feel Podcast. Excuse me, I'm not dub, but I began high for two days. I've been on a new way. And if a dog ain't love you back, then what would you say? The players they call, they coming back to spend some new pay. And yeah, he called me in the back, but no, he can't say. Say two, three on the block, up on his life, just like he Brian James. Two person, then I never know, I'm just trying to take away pain. But that was for them old days, get rid of all them old ways. I'm thinking about them, I they locked them up with no day. No, they can't knock me down, I stayed up when they show hate. She wanna love me, now she seeing that I'm okay. Lazy go buck some shots, but he ain't come from most state. Can't show no love, cause they did shit that they had no place. Stop on my back and they walk on my feelings. When I'm dropped back to the touch and the ceiling. Full of the lean and I'm loving the feeling. She wanna yeah. taste, so I'm fucking with yeah. her. Up in the lane and I'm near some healing. I've been in my own lane, swerving early morning. I can't turn down, I got road rage. Broken hearted, I swear we can't go back to the mold day. Pain up inside of me, but I've been feeling okay. I don't even want apologies, that shit on my own. Try to get the best of me, try to get ahead of me, but I, I can't let it go. I've been on the road trying to get some more, trying to get the money, I can make it fly. I drip when I want to, I can put it on. Nigga, I'm a stunt, I ain't letting on. I put a hold on one like this shit go. Six got to play, you must be ready more. I'm sipping lint just to help with the car. Look for the light, but it started to get dark. Walking around with a hole in my heart. Hurt when you know that you're wrong from the start. You ain't swearing, can't put it in part. They try to hurt me, can't tell me apart. Shit throwing fakers, I put her on par. Murder them perk and I let her dissolve. Loving me bad, return and I let she go star. Gotta get to the back when they call. Remember them old days, I was running from law. They know I'm not okay, can't see what I saw. Drink on grimmer, know what I ain't talking to law. 2500, my fit, don't know this card. Damn, she wanna say something about we up in the law. He up in prison, I'm missing my dog. Really be mad, retarded, I'm missing this car. Oh, 30 know that I'm feeling this pain through the wall.
That's another show in the books, folks. Thanks for tuning in to The Phil with Phil. Please follow us on all streaming platforms and on social media. On Facebook, at Philip Roberts. On Instagram, at Phil Roberts 12 The Phil with Phil, and Corporate Like. And on Twitter, at Corporate underscore Like, and The Phil with Phil.